Good news. Uh -huh. Well, a few months after that, we brought you the story of an animal sanctuary in Chesterfield County, Loving Acres Farm. Yeah, right before the new year, fire devastated the farm, which takes in special needs animals. Carolina profiled Loving Acres weeks before that fire and has been keeping in touch with their management. Carolina, has the recovery been going for him so far? Well, guys, it's been going pretty well, which is good news, but recently the farm just took in two goats who actually survived a dog attack on their herd. 18 of the goats were killed, but the mom and her baby who were rescued by Loving acres were part of the 17 who survived after extensive surgeries. Both are expected to have a full recovery and live out the rest of their life at the sanctuary. Now I've been talking to owner Rachel Loving, who says she was working with other sanctuaries in the area to help as many animals as she can. She mentioned why this farm in particular and the animals who live in it mean so much to her. I love the special needs animals. Uh, so that's a that's a big deal. Instead of somebody putting something down, oh, this one has a bad leg, let's put it down. I would rather get a chance at trying to help it and fix it. Now, just about everything else like with inflation, the cost of raising these animals has gone up so they could use your help. Loving Acres recently gained its nonprofit status, so any donation you make to them is tax deductible. But even if you can't donate financially, they'll happily take pumpkins or watermelons to help feed the animals. In fact, last year it helped cover their feed for about two months. Now, and if you'd like to donate, you can head to their website. We're also going to have a link at WTVR.com. So great cause there. I love visiting the farm. Now, right now I'm going to show you a look at some of the busy areas throughout Central Virginia.